I'm Dudley Lynch, and this is commentary from Leap Psych, the blog on thinking skills. The therapist was a tiny woman with dark, closely cropped hair, magnetic eyes, and a ready, inviting smile. Her name was Insu Kim Berg. She was born in Korea, came to US, the U.S. in 1957 to study and stayed. The person closest to her was her husband, a jazz musician turned psychotherapist named Steve DeChasse. She persuaded the tall, gangly, Sherlock Holmes loving DeChasse to follow her to Wisconsin from California and join her in her life passion. Equipping psychotherapists to help people heal quickly without years of expensive slower than molasses, Freudian style talk therapy. The mainstay ideas in the therapeutic techniques developed by Berg and DeShazer address numerous critical themes about thinking that are central to Dauphin thinking. Among these powerful ideas were these. If it isn't broken, don't fix it. If it works, go with the flow. If it isn't working, do something different. The solution to an issue, any issue, is almost never related that closely to the problem. This explains why the way people think and talk about problems is almost guaranteed to be different than the way they think and talk about solutions. The first place to look for solutions is to exceptions. Ask yourself what has been working that you really hadn't noticed all that much. The next best place to look for solutions is to what makes sense now that you've thought a little more about it. What usually matters are the small, right, smart, good, that is moral, next steps they may put you on the path to big changes. People need to be reminded, and none of us ever want to forget, that the future is both created and negotiable. Not all change is a problem, and problems do not all happen at once. But change is inevitable. Sounds simple, doesn't it? But Berg warned about that. Because thinking this way looks and sounds simple, people expect it to be easy. But she said it wasn't. She said thinking this way is hard. The reason that it isn't enough simply to read somebody's book, even if that book is called Strategy of the Dolphin, or The Mother of All Minds, or Leap, how to think like a dolphin, etc., etc., or to take graduate school classes and grow familiar with such techniques for guiding and dealing with change. Such accomplishments, while commendable, are often inadequate to the task at hand because they leave out, as Berg phrased it, the art part. A R T part. She added, the art part is about what to do when. So it is the art part that is the hardest of all. The reason for this has to do with the way the universe is set up. The art part is what gets you through and beyond the complexity. The simplicity that harbors the solution nearly always lies on the other side of complexity. It's like crocheting. You are most likely to get there if you get there at all. If you have the kind of mind that can get you one small, right, smart stitch, one right thing, one right motive, f forward at a time, at the right time. All our books and models and tools at Brain Technologies are about hastening and equipping that kind of mind. In the 21st century, 
any time any of us leave home without this kind of mind, we are asking for trouble. If we have it along with us, then the spirit is usually with us, the spirit of Ensu Kim Berg and all the others who in the past half century or so have helped our species discover a new tenacious way to think about its challenges and in an audacious new mindset with which to do the thinking. And that's our commentary from Leap Psych, our blog on finding and mobilizing what needs to come next. You can read this blog, item in its entirety, on our website at braintechnologies.com. Thanks for listening.